what do you think about ice hockey competition at Beijing 2022? Are you happy with the results? I'm never happy with a loss, but I think at a certain point you have to be realistic. So I'm happy with how they turned out. I thought um, maybe a couple of games could have been a little bit closer and that the score wasn't inherently indicative of the level of play. But you know, it is what it is. And I think we took big strides in the last few years. And uh, I can be happy with the effort that we put in while not being completely happy with the result. With NHL players opting out of these games, do you feel like the event is less competitive? I think it's more competitive because if they were here, it'd be a slaughter. Um, let's just be realistic, not just for us, but for a couple of the other countries as well. I mean, it would have been fun to watch, but maybe not for all of the games. Sometimes fun to watch isn't always competitive to play. So in terms of competition, I mean, I mean if NHL players showed up, obviously the level of play would be a lot higher, but I don't necessarily think that the games would be more competitive. Gold medal for ice hockey will be decided this Sunday. Which team are you rooting for and why? Just realistically, I think the Canadians are going to win. I have a few friends on that team, and I think their level of play is very high and, and their experienced team. But I'm rooting for uh, some of the underdogs. You know, like after today, I think Slovakia has a good chance. I mean, they're, they beat the U.S., you know, so we'll see. You know, everybody wants to root for an underdog. I think that's why a lot of people wanted us to win, even though we didn't. I know you left home at an early age to pursue ice hockey, and now you've made your Olympic debut. How has your hard work paid off? Well, I think me being here is the biggest sign that it's paid off. Just the past few days, I've done some thinking, and, and I'm disappointed in myself because I think I could have been better than I am now. But I was still good enough to be here and, and participate in all this, and uh, so I'm happy about that. And I think just for this, all the years of hard work and sacrifice, not just from me, but from my family as well, has paid off and um, yeah I just I don't have to say thank you to them because they know it's less impactful if I have to say it out loud. How crucial was family support to your hockey career and based on your experience how can other young Chinese with dreams of playing in the Olympics make it the way you have? I'm a great hockey player it's because my parents sent me to lessons and they gave me the best like environment to pursue my dream so I think parts of it is sometimes being encouraging when I want to give up and parts of it being harsh when I need a little wake-up call. So I think, I think they've done a good job, whether it's my hockey or piano or, or any other field, of balancing the right sort of motivation for me. It's cliche to say, but it's the truth that I, I couldn't have done it without them, obviously. For younger kids, I want to say, like, if you have the support of your family, if you have a knack for the game and you have a talent for it, you should absolutely pursue it because you don't want to let your parents down, you know, because they, they're always going to support you, you know, I think so. For me personally, like I, I'm very proud of my accomplishments. I think I'm more proud that, that I think of them more as my parents' accomplishments, you know, because they raised me and they sort of guided me towards the right direction. So I think a lot of kids, just be thankful for your parents giving you that sort of guidance and don't let them down. After the Chinese team's debut in Olympics ice hockey, how do you characterize your relationship with your teammates? We're a lot more united than probably people think. Um, I know it's a mix of heritage players and national players. In the end, we're all here to do one thing and we're all here to play well. So uh, throughout this whole thing, I think we've only grown closer. And yesterday was hard because we were saying goodbye to everyone. Maybe for some of them, it'll be the last time we ever see them. What do you think about the winter sports in China overall? With the Winter Olympics happening, obviously things have spiced up and you know grown a little bit and i i hope it keeps doing this because i don't want hockey to go back to being in the dust the way it was before certainly for the last few years winter sports have grown more popular but i hope that it, this trend can continue instead of just ebbing and flowing i honestly think we need to have our own league have a college yeah. league to copy what north america is doing with this sort of system and that's the only way the sport will ever grow if we keep doing what we're doing now it's just going to continue being the way it is now. There's a quote I really like. The quote is, uh, if you only do what you can do, you'll never be more than you are now, which is a great quote, but it's from Kung Fu Panda. So yeah, so the same thing with Chinese hockey. If you just keep doing what we're doing now, we're never going to be better than we